This is the South African Parliament getting into a right punch up. Fortunately, we haven't seen scenes like this erupt in the British Houses of Parliament. Instead, we get the rather lame spectacle of an MP taking the royal mace, which represents the royal authority. Without it, Parliament can't meet or pass laws. At well, this moment, during the time that Johnson unlawfully prorogued Parliament, it led to the Speaker John Burko being hemmed into his seat as a protest. ...by both houses, and to also declare the prorogation of Parliament, desire the presence of this honourable house. But there's nothing more likely to cause a stir, not the act of lying in the chambers, but calling somebody a liar to create outrage. Like here when Ian Blackford said that Boris Johnson had misled Parliament, which he had done. Debased the office of Prime Minister, shrinked responsibility, dogged accountability and blamed his staff at every turn. Presided over sleaze and corruption and tainted the very institutions of the state. In short, Mr Speaker, this is a man... Well, they can laugh. They can laugh. But the public know, the public know this is a man they can no longer trust. He has been investigated by the police. He misled the House. He must now resign. Order. You'll have to withdraw that last one. Inadvertently misled. I'll give you one more chance. As leader of the SNP, I don't want to have to throw you out. I'm going to give you this chance. Please. That man has misled the House. I'm sorry it's come to this, and I'm sorry that the leader of the party has not got the decency to just withdraw those words. That the Prime Minister may have inadvertently misled the House. But, no. should, or, order. To help me, to help the House, you withdraw on your earlier comment and replaced it with inadvertently. It's not my fault if the Prime Minister can't be trusted to tell the truth. Under the power given to me by Standing Order No. 43, I order the Honourable Member to withdraw immediately from the House. From the House. It's, it's, it's all right, we don't need to bother. Right. Or that Dawn Butler said that Johnson was a liar, which he was. The Prime Minister said we have severed the link between infection and serious disease and death. Not only is this not true, Madam Deputy Speaker, but it is dangerous, and it's dangerous to line the pandemic. And I'm disappointed that the Prime Minister has not come to the House to correct the record and to correct the fact that he has lied to this House and the country over and over again. Order. order. I'm, I'm sure that the, um, the member will um, reflect on... Um, her words, she's saying, perhaps correct the record. Madam Deputy Speaker, what would you rather, a weakened leg or a severed leg? You know, at the end of the day, the Prime Minister has lied to this House time and time again. And it's funny that we get in trouble in this place for calling out the lie rather than the person lying. Order, order, order. Order. Can you re please... Please reflect on your words and withdraw your remarks. Madam Deputy Speaker, I've reflected on my words and somebody needs to tell the truth in this House that the Prime Minister has lied. Under the power given me by Standing Order number 43, I order the member to withdraw immediately from the House for the remainder of the day's sitting. Of course, Dennis Skinner calling Cameron Dodgy Dave was also seen as a heinous crime and he was asked to leave. Does the Prime Minister recall that at the time after he became Prime Minister under the coalition and at the time when he was dividing the nation between strivers and scroungers, I asked him a very important question about the windfall he received when he wrote up the mortgage of the premises in Notting Hill and I said to him he didn't write up the mortgage of the one the taxpayers were helping to pay for at Oxford. I didn't receive a proper answer then, 
Maybe Dodgy Dave will answer it now. And by the way... Order, order, I, order, order. I must ask the honourable gentleman, order. I don't require any assistance from some junior minister. An absurd proposition. I invite order. I invite the honourable gentleman to withdraw that adjective that he used a moment ago. He's perfectly order. He's perfectly capable of asking his question without using that word. It is up to him, but if he doesn't wish to withdraw it, I can't reasonably ask the Prime Minister to answer the question. All he has to do is withdraw that word and think of another. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> I think he knows the word beginning with D and ending in Y that he inappropriately used. Davy. Davy or Davy. Withdraw. Yeah, I know. I know what you're talking about. Very simple. Withdraw. This man has done more to divide this nation than anybody else. He's looked after his own pocket. I still refer to him as Dodgy Dave. Do what you like. Order, 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 order. I'm sorry, I must ask the honourable gentleman to withdraw the work. Very well. Under the power given to me by standing order number 43, I order the honourable member to withdraw immediately from the House for the remainder of this day's sitting. To finish with, let's witness Lindsay Hoyle, Speaker of the House, losing his nut as rambunctious MPs test his patience. I say to the honourable gentleman, I will not tolerate such behaviour. If you want to go out, go out now, but if you stand again, I will order you out. Make your mind up. Either shut up and get out. I warn the honourable member that if the small test in curling out to shut up a minute. Does somebody want <clears throat> to what want? Give me the name of the Order, order. Sit down, you won't be in the future. I now warn of the honourable members that if they persist in refusing to comply with my order to withdraw, I shall be content compelled to name both of them, which may lead to them being suspended from the House. Right, to ensure that the honourable member complies. Can it? <coughs> What's the name? Neil Hanvey. Neil Hanvey and Kenny I order. Shut it. Shh. Neil Hanvey, I am now naming you and Kenny McCaskill to leave this chamber. Sergeant, deal with them. Deal with them. <coughs> deal, with them. <coughs> deal with them. Just sit down. Out! No! Sergeant at arms, escort them out! Click here for Jacob Rees-Mogg's Fireside Chat.